Okay, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Will Ellington and today I want to talk about text to video. What is that? Let's say you have a blog post, an, an article, a piece of text you wrote and you want to turn that text into a video automatically and you don't want to do too much manipulation. That's text to video. Now, if you Google it, you can see there are a lot of um, services offering that process. What I wanted was something more simple. I wanted a simple app that would allow me with minimal friction to do that task. Okay, so uh, I came across Flicky and I was on AppSumo. AppSumo is a marketplace for paid apps. It's pretty cool. You can find some interesting stuff here. Check it out. Um, Flicky is an app on that marketplace. Flicky.ai and yeah, turn text into videos with lifelike AI voices. You can see there's a one-time purchase price of $189. You don't have to pay that. I'm using the free version for this tutorial. Uh, but if you do go for the pro version, make sure you buy it through AppSumo because if you go to flicky.ai, um, it's more expensive. Okay, so this is their website. It's just more expensive. So make sure you go to uh, AppSumo and buy it. You will note that in AppSumo, you are limited to 180 minutes per month. What does that actually mean? I'll tell you about that later as we get into it. But let's have a look at uh, Flicky, what it, the interface, what it can do. So to set up a free account, just go to Start Creating. You can use uh, Google. If you've got a Gmail account, you can use uh, Gmail. It's very quick to create an account. And then when, when you've done that, you'll come to this Studio page. Right off the bat, I like the simplicity. Three options, files, which are video files, podcasts, for audio, for AI read audio, and then books. You can create books with AI voices here as well. I'm focusing on files today on video. So let's go to a new file. Let's choose video. Let's call it test video. Let's create. Then we get this basic screen. So what have we got? We've got Sarah, which is our AI default voice. We can change that in a minute. We've got our first scene or slide, and it just says test video. So, um, how to uh, write better sentences. Let's imagine we're making a video about writing. How to write better sentences. Um, 10 tips for uh, writers of all kinds. So let's say that's our first slide. So we're going to add another slide after that. We're going to call it number one. Um, make sure, sorry, this is off the top of my head. You use a dictionary to check your spelling. So ran, totally random content right now, but you can imagine if you have a blog post already written, you're just copying sections of the post, basically small uh, paragraphs, maybe two to three lines per scene. You copy, paste, copy, paste, keep adding them, and they'll rack up here like a script. So uh, the next thing you want to do is add an image, maybe, or not. You can keep it without an image and it will show a changing kind of mixed color screen background like this. But let's say we're gonna put a writing image. So this is their stock library. I'm looking for an image that's about writing. I've got video options. I can choose photos or GIFs, animated images. Let's go for a video. Let's just type in writing and see their stock writing. All right, so there's someone with a pen writing, someone writing on a Mac. Let's just use this for the sake of it. That's our first scene. Uh, use a dictionary. Let's try and find a dictionary image, maybe, instead of video. Okay, there's a dictionary, maybe. Yeah, cool. All right, and then those are three scenes. Let's just add one more to um, get someone to proofread your writing should be two all right and let's add uh, proofreading I doubt that's going to come up how about images I don't know maybe here let's use this one. Oh, did you notice at the top you've got AI art you can use there I'm not sure which AI app they're using for this but you can generate AI art here if you put in a prompt example a white Siamese cat or you can upload your own image, choose from your desktop. So upload an image and then select it there. I'm going to go with their stock library 
Uh, I'm going to go with proofreading. Um, and I'll go with this image. Okay, so I've got three scenes. Sarah is voicing these. Let's just do some video settings before I play the video at the moment. So go to video settings. Here we can choose the size. At the moment it's set to square, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. But we can go to YouTube landscape format or TikTok format in portrait mode. So this is pretty cool. It caters to the main social platforms. I'm going to go with YouTube. I'm going to keep enable fade effect. So between scenes, it adds a basic fade in, fade out, very subtle. I'm going to keep zoom for images. So it, it creates a motion zoom on images. I'm going to keep subtitles. I like having the subtitles on screen. I'm going to make those big. I'm going to keep them in the center of the screen. I'm going to show the whole sentence, not just parts of the sentence. Phrase is part of the sentence. Word is word by word. Uh, but I'm going to go with full. You can choose Google Fonts, you can preview the fonts as well. Nunito is great. And then background color for the font, for the subtitles. I quite like a soft blue. I think it works quite well. And then font color is going to be white. So save that. So my settings are saved. The video size has changed. So let's play this uh, three scenes with Sarah AI voicing it. How to write better sentences. 10 tips for writers of all kinds. 1. Make sure you use a dictionary to check your spelling. 2. Get someone to proofread your writing. Okay, so there we have it. Um, two steps, uh, sorry, three slides or three scenes. Sarah is voicing the AI. If we click on Sarah, you can see a range of options of different voices. This is United States dialect, uh, language is English. There are multiple languages. Gender is all, but we could just choose male or female, for example. And let's say we want to change to Natalie. We can preview Natalie. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. Mm, maybe Pam. Flicky helps you create audio and video content using lifelike AI voices in less than a minute. Okay, let's choose Pam. And then we're going to go to apply this to all sections. So let's select that. And now Pam is reading our text. You can also upload your uh, audio file. So you could upload your own voice. This is one of the downsides of Flicky. I really wish they had an automated button here just to record quick you know, sentences or voiceovers. If they had a record button, I could record my voice. Bam, it's there. I wish that was possible. It would really make this app so much better. But unfortunately, that's one of the downsides. It's a young, fledgling app. It has its problems, okay? But as you can see so far, this, the process is simple. This, the interface is basic, but it's understandable. And let's see the result. So we're going to export this very short clip. Oh, that last second. All right, there we are. 13-second video took about a minute or so to render. So from here, we can just click Download. And uh, let me open in um, QuickTime. How to write better sentences. 10 tips for writers of all kinds. 1. Make sure you use a dictionary to check your spelling. 2. Get someone to proofread your writing. All right, and you can see in the video at the bottom, there's the watermark flicky.ai. That is one of the limitations of the free version, OK? Um, if you go for the paid version, then you can remove the watermark. Okay, so the final thing is to go to the account. And I'm using the free version here. With the free version, you get 10 minutes of credit. For that short demo video right now, you can see that it took 1.1 credits. Now, that was a 13-second a video, so it was very short. So the way Flicky works is... When you're in the studio creating the video, each time you add an image or a video here, each time you play it back and look at it, it's taking, it's using up credits. So the best way to get the most out of Flicky is to have all your text already on a Word file, copy, paste, copy, paste, uh, and then insert your images and do all of that and then play it one time and then try to do minimal replays. So the more you replay audio and video, the more the credits rack up. That's how they 
monetize this system. I don't like it personally. I don't think it works well. It's annoying, but it is what it is. Um, in terms of pricing, well, it's a one-time fee. You get 180 minutes per month. In terms of real, real-world video length, that's about 10 videos at about 10 minutes each. Roughly speaking, you're looking at about 10 videos per month at about 10 minutes each for each video. That's probably likely what you'd get from the AppSumo deal. I'll leave a link in the description to Flicky on the, the AppSumo uh, or Flicky. If you purchase the pro version, I'll get a small commission. It's an affiliate link. Don't have to do that at all. You can just use the free version and just make multiple accounts. And you know, each month you'll get back some credit. So yeah, enjoy, play around with it. Catch you next time. Bye bye.